But we do have a new tornado warning, Scott, that's just come in. That storm you were talking about in uh, in Lee County, a, a tornado warning is now in effect for uh, eastern Chatham, southern Durham, northeastern Lee, south central Orange, and west central Wake until 1215. Uh, National Weather Service Doppler radar indicated tornado over Moncure or seven miles northeast of Sanford moving north at 35 miles per hour. So this is the area that's now under a tornado warning again. It's extreme western Wake, eastern Chatham around Jordan Lake, southeastern Orange and southern Durham County. You want to take cover in these areas where there may be a tornado on the ground at uh, near Moncure moving northeast or north at 35 miles per hour. Jordan Lake, Farrington, Chapel Hill, Parkwood, Bethesda, Durham. Those are all areas extreme western Wake too where you want to uh, want to take cover. It's this area outlined in here. If go over to weather two. Scott's got up the uh, storm track. Some other uh, communities that might be impacted by that storm. Uh, Seaforth, Bells, Farrington Village, uh, some of the other subdivisions there. But that tornado warning now in effect until 1215. The tornado warning for Warren County will expire at 1130. That storm has weakened, so the warning will be allowed to expire. So now our focus shifts back towards the uh, western parts of the triangle, Scott. Yeah, I, unfortunately, uh, my fears uh, have come to fruition, and that is that these cells will continue to lift to the north. Some of them weaken, and then we start to see one strengthen, and that's when they start to take advantage of this wind shear we've been talking about. When these cells become intense high enough, they start to take advantage of the winds coming in from the southeast at the surface. The winds are aloft about 5,000 feet to 10,000 feet coming in from the southwest. So you have a change in direction with height. That's directional shear. That is a key ingredient, and that is very typical in landfalling tropical situations where we have a very moist and unstable air mass. These cells are not that big, but they are showing signs of some rotation and now we're seeing this latest one looks like it's moving it's going to be moving right over the Jordan Lake area as you can see right there as we put this latest image on here and we'll uh, zoom up to the top here first of all let me uh, go ahead and take that that uh, storm track off here uh, there we go so it looks like around Moncure around the Wilsonville area looks like over towards Farrington Village you're probably going to get you're getting some heavy rain from that but what we want to try to do here is really pinpoint on the tornado threat with this cell. And that's just now coming out of Moncure, Chris, uh, moving into the southern Jordan Lake. Uh, around US-1 is crossing that area where we're seeing this little uh, uh, notch that we're seeing. That's where we're seeing the difference there. Right in this area before we were seeing, I was talking about this notch on the back end. That's an indication of strong straight line winds. But here we're starting to see the southeast corner. We're starting to see that little notch there, an indication of maybe we're starting to see a, a, a uh, rotation, a tightening up of that rotation right now. So if you live in these areas just south of Moncure, right along US Highway 1, that's where we're seeing this rotation here uh, indicated by the Doppler radar. And this is what I'm talking about. Uh, now the radar site is on the upper part, upper right-hand part of your screen. So now the green's indicating rotation or movement away from the radar site and these white areas. Now a lot of times we see red, but in this type of situation where we see the white or the faint red next to these green pixels, that's where we're seeing that rotation right now. And that's over the Moncure area. And as I lapse this, put this back into motion, we'll, we'll t go back in time. There you go. You start to see the how this uh, began to move up from the southwest through Moncure and then push, there you go, right in that area. And there's where they issued the warning, which does include include uh, Wilsonville and up to the north. And uh, this does also include Chapel Hill. Of course, this is a very small area of rotation. Hopefully, this is going to pass to uh, the southeast of Chapel Hill, Chris. And hopefully, there's nothing on the ground, too, right. Scott. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, that's the warning there for uh, southeastern Orange, southern Durham, eastern Chatham, western Wake County, northern Lee until 1215. Another storm we're watching, uh, just uh, getting a look at this while Scott was talking, here into eastern Wilson County. There's no warning with that, but it is showing some signs of uh, rotation there, rotation in eastern Wilson and southwestern Edgecombe County. So, uh, folks there, if just to be on the safe side, you want to uh, stay alert with us in case a warning is issued. There has been some weak rotation with this thunderstorm. It wouldn't take much for it to spin up into a little bit more and uh, a tornado warning issue there for parts of Edgecombe or Wilson County. It's not a warning now. Also a strong thunderstorm into Wayne County. The warning for Warren County has expired. Matt Mendez has been sort of on the back end of that storm following it in and uh, so far he hasn't had any reports of damage as he's traveled up uh, through Warren County, which is good news. That storm is weak and still there is quite a bit of uh, cloud to ground lightning there in Warren County. Our focus now shifts into the 
Triangle, Eastern Chatham, Western Wake, Southern Durham, Southern Orange County. There's a tornado warning in effect now until 1215. Uh, this uh, little area, this, this uh, area of thunderstorms is moving rapidly to the north. And uh, as of just a few moments ago, as of 1127, uh, uh, National Weather Service Doppler radar indicated a tornado over Moncure or seven miles northeast of Sanford moving north at 30 miles per hour, 35 miles per hour. So Jordan Lake, Farrington, Chapel Hill, Parkwood, Bethesda, and the city of Durham, especially South Durham, want to take cover. Remember, uh, if you're in these areas, you want to take cover uh, just to be on the safe side. No reports of a tornado on the ground, but the best thing to do is get to the lowest floor, interior room, hall closet, bathroom, anything in the middle of the house, and uh, protect yourself. Cover your head. Uh, grab your pets. Uh, if your kids are at home, not in school, you want to uh, go ahead and uh, gar grab everybody. And uh, this warning will expire in about 40 minutes or so as uh, this tornado potential tornado moves off towards the northeast at uh, 35 or north at about 35 miles per hour. Uh, Western Wake County too, just west of Morrisville, Apex and Holly Springs. It'll just sort of skim that area as it moves off towards the north at about 35 miles per hour. Other thunderstorms through the region. Uh, any one of these could spin up any time into a tornado. Hopefully things will start to settle down a little later this afternoon. It's been a very active morning with numerous tornado warnings across central North Carolina. Good news is so far no reports of any major damage across the region, but uh, uh, this is the area now of uh, all the eyes on into eastern Chatham County. We'll put on a, a look at the uh, velocity and see if we can find out exactly a uh, look at uh, where we may see some rotation. Kind of tough to see as uh, the Moncure area was where the uh, potential tornado was before right in this area here. So it's moving off towards the north. Uh, maybe in this region here just north of US 1. Yeah. There may be that's where the rotation they're looking at uh, right in here where you see the uh, little lighter colors there in the green. That could be a uh, potential tornado. It doesn't like a real strong signature, Scott, but uh, definitely uh, when there's a tornado warning, we want to take cover. Yeah, in this type of situation, we don't expect to always see those uh, classic signatures where you see a, a strong couplet where the reds and greens are right next to one another. A lot of times you see a weaker signature like this, which means uh, that the tornado uh, is, is weaker. Sometimes uh, you see those funnel clouds. We've seen that, but we've not necessarily always seen these touch down, and that's great news, but we have to take them seriously. Let's go to Weather Source 1 here. I've got the latest 3D image on this storm. We'll zoom into that right now, and it's uh, just now pushing into the southern portions of Jordan Lake right now, north of Moncure. It's east of Pittsburgh, and as we zoom around on the eastern flank of this cell, it's going to be pushing up into uh, Chatham County and uh, looks like it's going to push west of Cary but uh, maybe to the east of Chapel Hill but you can see how tall this thunderstorm is uh, probably uh they're not as tall as normal thunderstorms. In a tropical environment, a lot of times are what we call low-top supercells. A supercell is a thunderstorm that rotates, that produces a tornado, but generally that's what we get, around a 20 to 30,000 foot tops, generally under 30,000. Now, this is the uh, larger view here. See the rotation over by Atlanta, over towards Huntsville? That's the broad circulation, what's left of Lee, and the cold front is south of the South Carolina line, pushing across the Georgia-South Carolina line, and we're we're in that warm sector where you see those thunderstorms, those uh, uh, starting to pop up in that very unstable air, especially since we've got we've received some sunshine, and this is where the tornado threat is heightened, and that's why we have the tornado watch over our area. You can see the hashed red area. So unfortunately, it looks like we're going to be dealing with this through uh, the remainder of the uh, afternoon, at least the early afternoon, where this tornado watch is in effect until 2 o'clock. And there's that one warning that's been in effect. And the good news, Chris, you've been talking about, we've been seeing these multiple tornado warnings, but only so far one confirmed touchdown in Pinehurst. Yeah, you know, it's a, the Doppler radar is an, is, has been a, just an excellent uh, addition to forecasting severe weather. The only drawback is that you do get false alarms, and it happens fairly often because we never know there's a tornado on the ground until somebody sees it or we see uh, reports of damage. We get reports of some damage coming in. And on occasion, as in April 16th, we see the debris on the radar. But That's we right. never know that there is one on the ground until we get a report from someone. Doppler radar only sees the rotation aloft. It doesn't see necessarily there's a, a tornado on the ground. So the National Weather Service, when they see the rotation, they will issue a warning. And many times then, or at least sometimes you get a false alarm and that's happened uh, it's happened to today where there are warnings but no tornadoes because the rotation is there but you need to take them seriously because they can when there is rotation it means that a tornado could 
form and get to the ground in an instant, in a matter of seconds. So that's why uh, many times we just tell you to go ahead and uh, just to be on the safe side when these tornado warnings are issued, take cover. And there's some of the safety rules. Avoid windows, go to the lowest floor, central small room. If you have a basement, of course, that's the best place to be. Anything in the middle of the house, cover yourself for protection from potential falling debris. Let's go over to weather three and uh, here's the outlined area again of that tornado warning that's in effect. If you're in Warren County, that warning has expired. The storm is weakened. There's no warning in effect. Uh, all the other warnings that we had earlier in the morning, of course, have expired as well. This is the new one in effect until 1215 for uh, portions of uh, it's Western Wake, Eastern Chatham, Southern Durham and Southeastern Orange County it does include southern parts of Durham and uh, Chapel Hill as well. So folks there in uh, eastern Chatham County, east of Pittsburgh, especially around Jordan Lake and extreme western Wake. This is just going to brush western Wake County, uh, extreme western Wake. You want to go ahead and take cover as well. That's where the tornado warning in effect until 1215. There are other showers and storms pull back the view that are forming down across parts of Scotland County into Moore County too. Uh, the uh, warning for northeastern Lee is canceled now because it's moved out of the area. So if you're in Lee County, don't worry, but the tornado warning does remain in effect for, until 1215 for Western Wake, South Central Orange, Southern Durham, and Northeastern Chatham. Uh, weather Service radars is from the National Weather Service. A, a possible tornado seven miles south of Jordan Lake, nine miles southeast of Pittsburgh, moving north at 35 miles per hour. So Farrington, Carpenter, Carborough, Parkwood, Chapel Hill, RTP, Bethesda, and um, also, uh, Durham, South Durham, want to take cover for that storm. You see other showers and thunderstorms out there, but that's the only one with a warning right now. But these, uh, any one of these could pop a brief spin up tornado, as we've been saying. Uh, this is the other storm we've been watching. There's been a little bit of rotation in this across uh, eastern Wilson and uh, southern Edgecombe County into Pitt County along Highway 258, just south of Pine Tops. There's no warning with that, but uh, just want to be on alert. If you're in Edgecombe County, especially in case a warning is issued, been watching that one pretty closely. It does have some weak rotation. Uh, it could spin up a weak tornado, maybe a warning issued for that uh, in the next little bit. Uh, we'll let you know, of course, if it does. Into Warren County, notice we've got also our storm reports on here and that's the good news out of anything out of this morning is that uh, we're not getting a, a whole lot of uh, storm reports. This was earlier this morning at 1030 that funnel cut over uh, uh, sections of Vance County just around Henderson and then uh, this was uh, at 10 o'clock this morning uh, tree down on a power line in Wake County and, and then you get down into Moore County 640 a.m. Uh, in uh, Moore County pine trees blown down and snapped some blown into a lake no damage just to residents uh, again it's uh, all confined to a golf course there. And that's the only reports we've gotten all morning long, despite the fact that about, uh, I'd say, 10 counties have been under 10 or more have been under tornado warnings during the course of the morning hours that uh, you don't typically see a whole lot of widespread touchdowns in this, but you do get a lot of rotation and uh, that's why the warnings are issued. So to uh, just surmise the uh, warning uh, still in effect for the next half hour for eastern uh, sections of, um, of uh, Chatham County, Western Wake, the warning for Lee County has expired into southern sections of uh, of uh, Durham and Orange County too. So you want to uh, just be on the safe side, take cover. We're looking for that rotation there and it's right around Jordan Lake where there may be a tornado right around Highway 64 in uh, eastern Chatham County. Yeah, uh, let's go to Weather Source 1 here because uh, I've got another view here that I want to show and uh, what we can see here is the individual cells and we can zoom into some of this area and I can pan the camera around as well. We'll zoom into this uh, cell that Chris was showing you uh, just, just a bit ago and as you can see, uh, it's just over Jordan Lake right now, and uh, it continues. It has a lot of uh, quite a bit of cloud to ground lightning. That's one thing we've seen with these stronger cells. They start to develop that cloud to ground lightning with these cells as uh, as they're moving up to the north. And as we pan the view out a little bit more, you can see uh, that it is moving up towards Chapel Hill. There are some of the reports that we, we saw that one funnel cloud up towards Henderson. Also watching some cells down to the south here in uh, Southern Pines, indication of maybe a little bit of hail with that. There's that one report earlier on of an actual touchdown, uh, but you're once again going to be seeing these cells push into your area as we loop this. You see how they're rapidly lifting off to the north, and so you're going to see that heavy rain push into your area very shortly uh, in and around over towards uh, Pinehurst, Aberdeen, over towards Southern Pines, and also Fort Bragg. As you can see, this is live data coming in with lightning. So quite a bit of cloud to ground lightning with these cells, and those are the, one of the indications that we need to start watching pretty closely when they start to ramp up that cloud to ground lightning, indicating that the cell is becoming a little bit more intense 
So uh, some, something to certainly watch. Now let's go ahead and tilt this and we'll start to look at it from the angle here and you can see right now that this storm is moving over towards the uh, Southern Pines area. And as we loop this again, that's how it's moving to the north, erasing to the north pretty quickly. Also, we'll watch this cell up to the north in uh, Chatham County. Let's show you that cell. That uh, also, that we also have some activity up in uh, Durham County, excuse me, Orange County, where there may be a little bit of hail, but I don't th think the hail is, is the main threat. I think it's mostly a, a wind threat and also an isolated tornado threat. As uh, we zoom into this cell right here, and let's go ahead and uh, pan around here off towards the east. So uh, there we go. We'll turn it on its side. And uh, we can see that as we're looking on the east side, looking westward, and now looking off towards the south and west, quite a bit of lightning. But you can see how it is moving over towards Chapel Hill and Durham. And this is 40 right here. Uh, between 40 uh, and US 70 is just to the north of Durham. So it looks like this cell, as we put this into motion, is going to head up right through Jordan Lake and then push in up towards just to the uh, east side of, uh, of Chapel Hill over towards Durham. So uh, those are the areas that we need to watch very closely, Chris. Uh, we also have that cell that's uh, just now pushing out of Warren County. Some other activity that's uh, pretty strong over towards Wayne County in, in Goldsboro, where there's some very heavy rain uh, right around the Elroy area over towards Indian Springs. There's some live data uh, that we're looking at right now, but uh, not seeing any indication of, uh, of rotation. But what is in interesting is uh, we can see a little bit of a notch here that we've been seeing at times. There it is right there that we're looking at uh, that we have to watch out for that uh, sometimes indications of a little bit of a, uh, of a rotation in these areas, but uh, no confirmation of that. But quite a bit of cloud to ground lightning with this storm as well, south of Goldsboro over towards Indian Springs. We can also pixel query, query some of these. This is this tornado. Uh, this tornado a funnel cloud that was reported with this one cell right here and there down to the south was the report that we saw of uh, some damage with the tornado as you have more cells moving into that region, Chris. Yeah, Scott, if we uh, can go over to weather three, we got a, a storm uh, path there. You can see some of the areas that be impacted by this potential storm. Uh, already it's raining in southern Durham County, but uh, the potential tornado uh, the next few minutes, uh, 15, 20 minutes towards Chapel Hill, UNC streets at South Point in South Durham County, the Wood Croft neighborhood, all those areas of South Durham uh, near RTP and the uh, Orange Durham County line and eastern Chatham County. Those are the areas particularly too you want to just take cover. No reports of a tornado on the ground, but we are getting that uh, signature on Doppler radar that there may be a tornado. If we can go to Weather 7, our AccuView camera downtown, look at uh, downtown Durham. Uh, dry for now, you see uh, temperatures up into the uh, mid 80s and the humidity sky high as we have that tropical air mass in place. Also a DOT camera, Interstate 40 and Fayetteville Street uh, going south of downtown. We can show you that uh, picture. Uh, no rain there yet either, but it's not far away. Uh, it's a little bit to the west, I think, of uh, that area of uh, Interstate 40. Back to First Door Doppler XP. And uh, again, uh, there's the storm track. We'll take that off and show you some of the uh, uh, the other showers and thunderstorms around. But if you're just joining us, uh, live coverage of severe weather now across the region as uh, the remnants of Lee over parts of Georgia and our mountains are spawning strong. Uh, to severe thunderstorms that are at least producing some tornadoes across the region, uh, at least the potential for some tornadoes. Here's a look at the uh, radar. Let's uh, switch gears here and uh, show you the uh, the rain the rainfall. There it is over eastern Chatham County and uh, sections of uh, Durham County too. That's where there we go. There's where the tornado warning is in effect now until 12:15 next half hour for uh, southern Durham County, southeastern Orange, eastern Wake, extreme western Wake, I should say, and eastern Chatham County. Uh, that tornado tornado warning in effect there until the 1215. Uh, no reports of any damage, but uh, it's this area. Let's show you some of the uh areas where there may be the tornado, at least look at some of the uh, velocity data, which uh, shows us where there may be a tornado. And it's kind of tough to see on this one because the rotation may be weak. And a lot of times, if there is a tornado, it's very brief. You know, the tornadoes on April 16th were on the ground. The one that started in Lee, went through Wake, was on the ground for 63 miles. These, uh, no way they'll do that, but uh, they may be on the ground for a little bit here. And uh, it's this area of the eastern Chatham County, right around uh, Jordan Lake, that uh, the uh, National Weather Service the Doppler indicated a, a possible tornado just north of Highway 64 and uh, this area here 
across portions of uh, this is Highway 751 and then we're getting into southern Durham County now. So it's about to cross the line east of Highway 15, a little bit west of RTP, but uh, towards Interstate 40. Uh, no reports of again, even the folks seeing a funnel cloud, but uh, certainly that tornado warning in effect. And uh, we'll just show you the uh, area of rainfall now, the live look at the rain there. Uh, some heavy rainfall rates of one to two inches, but uh, that area just around Wilsonville, a little bit northeast of there and uh, a little bit west of Highway 751 where there may be a, a tornado on the ground or at least that rotation in those areas of uh, just uh, around Jordan Lake. Put that uh, velocity on if you would that live velocity again Chris. Um, what a, there you it notice is. Right the there. We're starting to see that red and green coming together. Yeah. Um, uh, that, that could may be. be yeah. It's kind of a rural area but still mm -hmm. in this north there we'll put on some of these streets here and uh, this is the area where we're seeing it. maybe the rotation Horton's Pond Road and uh, Holland's Chapel Road, uh, just north of Highway 64. Uh, this is Farrington Road in uh, Chatham County. So this may be where there could be at least the rotation, the funnel, possibly a tornado. Moving quickly north at 30 to 35 miles per hour. So I uh, don't have a whole lot of time to react. There's a live look at our sweeping radar, first alert Doppler XP. And uh, that's the only warning in effect right now it is for uh, this area of the uh, western parts of the Triangle. That's in effect until 12:15. Got other showers and thunderstorms in northern Orange County. They're not severe, at least not yet, not uh, producing uh, any uh, severe weather. And also back out to the west, been watching uh, some showers and storms into eastern Wayne County, southern Moore, and uh, parts of Hope County, too, and Robinson County. Uh, here's a look that will uh, take us back to the uh, whole view here once that uh, sweeps on by. Uh, there we go. Uh, you can see some of those showers and storms moving into Robinson County and northern Scotland County, eastern Wayne into Edgecombe County. You've been watching this one so far so good. Uh, there you you see just south of uh, southwest of Tarboro making its way towards Tarboro right around Pine Tops along Highway 258. Uh, no rotation with that to speak of. There was some weak rotation earlier. But uh, we're keeping an eye on that one because it has had at least a little bit of rotation. Don't see a whole lot in our uh, live velocity data there. Not a whole lot there right now. So that's uh, that's some good news. But we'll keep an eye on that. The only area that uh, really has some rotation are these spots here in uh, eastern sections of Chatham County. Now, if you're just around Pittsburgh and east of there and Moncure itself in pretty good shape, really it's anywhere north of Highway 64 now uh, into Chatham County, uh, northeastern Chatham County, southern Durham County, and uh, southern Orange County. Those are the spots. It's extreme western wake when it take cover uh, this storm making its way towards the north at 35 miles per hour could have a possible tornado with it. Let's go to weather source two here. I've got this uh, lapsed uh, this uh, this uh, reflectivity that you see it pushed uh, north of Sanford through the Pittsboro area and now pushing across uh, uh, pushing across uh, Jordan Lake right now. Sorry about that. I had to turn, uh, I had to take a phone call there. So got the mics back on here. What I was saying is, is we have uh, the uh, re the reflectivity pushing through Jordan Lake right now, just south of Chapel Hill. Uh, it is pushing towards Durham area, uh, as you can see now, just south of Chapel Hill. I also want to put on the uh, re latest reflectivity, which Chris was showing you, and I'm going to zoom in pretty tight here on this area right now. Yeah, t uh, turn on weather too, Scott. So oh, I is that right? Okay, my bad. No, yeah. no, you you were right. That they uh, just need to check it over to weather. Okay, two. There there's, there's weather too. Uh, let me show you what I was talking about before with the uh, reflectivity that uh, we'll, we'll put into motion here. And there it is right there. So it's moving through the Wilsonville area, uh, just put passing uh, just through that area. Uh, and up towards Chapel Hill, you're seeing some heavy rain. It looks like uh, some heavy rain is going to push back into the Durham region, which we're going to watch our weather cam very closely as this pushes up into that region. And as we put the latest image on right now, and now we'll put on that velocity that we look at. And uh, while we're not seeing a tight couplet right now, Chris, uh, we would, I, I think there's a couple areas we'll watch right in here that you were looking at near Farrington uh, around the Wilsonville area. Uh, let me put on these. Yeah, uh, it doesn't. Uh, you're right. I'm looking bells. at the other source there, yeah, too, Scott. It's uh, not as tight as a, a rotation, but uh, definitely, you know, it doesn't take much. And uh, certainly, while that warning's in effect, you want to take it seriously. Uh, Southern Durham County. It's getting into a fairly populated area if there is a, a tornado as it gets out of Chatham and into uh, Southern Durham County. You get towards RTP, uh, that park, the Parkwood uh, neighborhood streets at South Point. Uh, 
It got a uh, shot here, Interstate 40 and 751. There you see the storm. Uh, some gusty winds, doesn't look too terribly bad. Uh, certainly slowing down traffic. Folks got their headlights on, but uh, that's the storm as it pushes into Durham County. Actually, there's a lot of rain out ahead of it, too, in this case. Uh, as we mentioned before, these tornadoes, uh, if we do have any today, many times they'll be wrapped in rain and uh, difficult to see. And they'll be so weak that you may not even hear them coming, as you would say some of the uh, stronger tornadoes, because uh, the uh, winds will be strong, obviously, but uh, they're not going to give you the, uh, the, the, the big heads up that, uh, say, the tornadoes of April 16th, did, which is good. Uh, they're not going to be nearly as strong, and there aren't going to be nearly as many either. Uh, but uh, any one of these cells that pops up during the course of the afternoon could have some rotation in it because of what's left of Lee spinning around in the Appalachians, creating a lot of wind shear aloft over central North Carolina, and you get a thunderstorm that forms that can take advantage of that wind shear, wind changing direction and speed with height, and some storms start to rotate, and eventually, if they uh, continue to rotate, Rotate, they can uh, spin up a quick tornado. Here's a look at our uh, radar, and you see these little bands of showers and thunderstorms. Not raining. If you clumped all of this together, it'd be about 30, 40 percent of the area getting wet. A lot of dry spots out there, but uh, looks like a band of showers and thunderstorms rolling into Robinson County and Hope County. Probably uh, going to make its way into uh, parts, at least, of western Cumberland County and Harnett County. Some heavy rain in Moore County too. But uh, the only warning in effect now, and even though areas north of the warning are getting some really heavy rain. Uh, the only warning is that one we told you about Eastern Chatham, Western Wake, Southern Durham, Southern Orange County. But check out some of these rainfall rates uh, really coming down two inches per hour in some of these heavier showers here across Orange County into Durham County, even with the cell itself, two to three inches per hour. Now, they're moving so quickly, you don't get that much rain. They're moving along at th uh, 30 to 35 miles per hour. But visibility is going to get thrown down to uh, just a few hundred feet. The winds are gusty and uh, certainly makes uh, traveling uh, very dangerous. But the... Uh, Biggest concern next 20 minutes will be uh, this area of uh, eastern Chatham, and especially as you get towards and north of Highway 64. That's where uh, we think there may be, at least we're seeing some rotation in this area here. It doesn't look like a real strong signature of rotation no, any, anymore, but uh, maybe the National Weather Service will be able to let that go. But uh, don't want to tell, let your guard down. As long as the warning is in effect, then uh, you want to take it seriously. But it's this spot here right along Highway 751 that uh, there may be at least some rotation with this as it uh, pushes towards the north at about 30 to 35 miles per hour. So uh, those areas of eastern Chatham and uh, southern Durham, southern Orange County. Uh, okay, here we go. We just Maybe we should say this all the time, Scott. Maybe they'll cancel it because they just did. Uh, the tornado warning... Not for they're listening to us. I know, but they. <laughs> but the tornado warning is canceled now for all of those areas. It uh, has weakened, as we, Scott and I were just saying, and uh, hoping the Weather Service would be able to let it go. And just as we said that, they did. So no tornado warnings are in effect at the moment, which is the first time we can say that since 930. And then, of course, there were some before that earlier in the morning when Steve Stewart was here. So tornado warnings now no longer in effect. Uh, there still is some weak rotation with this storm. If it increases, intensifies, and a new warning may have to be issued. So we're not out of the woods, but we do have at least a bit of a break at the moment. The tornado watch remains in effect until uh, 2 o'clock this afternoon, and uh, that means that any of these showers or storms that you see uh, could produce a quick spin-up tornado. But as of the moment, there are no tornado warnings in effect. We don't have that many reports of damage. Uh, there were no reports of damage coming out of uh, Wayne, uh, Wilson County. Uh, excuse me, Warren County, where we had that uh, warning earlier, or Vance County, there was. We have had some pictures. I don't know if we can throw those back up because we have a few minutes to kill, I think, until the noon news starts. But uh, we have some of those uh, pictures from earlier that folks sent in. Right. Uh, this is from Durham earlier this morning. Now, it's, you Infinity know, Infinity Road? Yeah, yeah, Infinity Road there in uh, northern Durham. They were under a tornado warning. Certainly looks like at least some sort of rotation there. We can't be sure it's uh, behind the tree line there, whether it was on the ground or not. Uh, no confirmation of that, that there was a tornado or any damage. But certainly, you can see why uh, it's been a very serious morning. We had another picture with someone, I think it was Franklin County, a little rope appendage sort of hanging mm -hmm. down from the yep. cloud earlier that uh, a viewer took and sent in to us. I want to remind you, we love getting your pictures. I want you to stay safe, though. Be absolutely sure that you can take those pictures without uh, putting yourself in any danger and then send it into you report.
support uh, powered by YouTube. But uh, back to first alert Doppler XP with this million watts of power. I've been tracking these storms live through the morning. Steve Stewart here since uh, actually those warnings started, I believe, around 5 or 5.30 yeah. this morning. Mm -hmm. uh, got a bit of a break uh, around 8, 7.30, 8, and then around 9.30, some thunderstorms started to show rotation once again. Had some warnings for the border counties and then this uh, area here of uh, Chatham and Lee uh, into uh, Western Wake and Durham and Orange. But that storm weakened uh, very quickly. And uh, right now all we see are just some showers and thunderstorms out there. Uh, they do have some flooding rains potentially and cloud to ground lightning and any one of these and there'll be others that uh, can pop up this afternoon as we get some heating in the afternoon. Any one of these could spark a, a fairly quick uh, weak tornado. Uh, but so far we're not seeing uh, any reports of any damage. So I got another little line developing here into Moore County, Hope County uh, into uh, Robinson County that's traveling to the northeast. That could affect uh, Harnett and Western Cumberland County. Uh, if you're around portions of Durham uh, into Orange County, there may not be any warnings with this, but certainly some really heavy rain into Person County too, and a lot of lightning also along and east of Interstate 95, some other showers and thunderstorms and others will be developing in bands and rotating in. Hopefully we'll start to get a little bit of a break. What, what should happen later this afternoon is the remnants of Lee weaken. The wind fields will off to weaken a little bit and our tornado threat may go down late this afternoon. We're hoping that's the case, but it may not go down to uh, zero. Tornado watch is in effect until two o'clock. Uh, this afternoon. Uh, watching some cells down to the s south in the Sand Hills. Let's go to Weather Source 2 here because uh, we have some heavy storms uh, now in uh, Robinson County pushing up into Hope County. And once again, you folks around Aberdeen, Pinehurst, over towards Southern Pines are seeing some heavy rainfall as well. Uh, with, with this type of environment we're in, we're constantly looking at the velocities to see if we're seeing anything. And, and one thing that I'm going to be watching is this one cell. It has some cloud to ground lightning with a little bit of red uh, just south of Red Springs. Uh, Certainly uh, not, uh, no indication of a tornado with that, but uh, these cells continue to lift up to the north, and that's something we're going to have to watch pretty closely as uh, we put this into motion. You can see how they crossed over the uh, South Carolina border, now pushing up through Robinson County into Hope County, and it looks like they will hold together. So you folks uh, are over towards uh, Rayford and up towards uh, Fayetteville and Fort Bragg will start to see this action begin to move into your area, and also those cells with some very, very heavy rain right now located uh, up to the north around uh, the uh, Durham area where we had that tornado warning earlier. But now, as we put on the radar reflectivity, there's that one storm moving out of uh, Warren County and the other cell moving into uh, Durham and Orange County with some very, very heavy rain, Chris. Yeah, exactly, uh, Scott. We're going to start our new news in just a few seconds. We'll have a quick update at the top. But uh, just to recap, if you're just joining us for the uh, new news, uh, no tornado warnings in effect right now. There were some for the uh, western parts of the Triangle and also up into Warren and the border counties uh, just until a little while ago. But they've all uh, been canceled for the moment, but it doesn't mean we're not going to see any more. We're just in a bit of a lull right now. We go over to Weather 3. You can see on First Alert Doppler XP the wide view now. The tornado watch is in effect for the entire area through 2 p.m. And we've got these bands of thunderstorms that are still rotating in from the southwest towards the northeast. And uh, at any time, they could spin up any of these uh, potentially into a uh, tornado. But uh, they would be uh, short-lived, weak tornadoes, but a tornado nonetheless. So we're going to stay on top of it through the afternoon hours and and uh, again, keep you updated uh, as we uh, go through the afternoon. But uh, right now, all is quiet in terms of severe weather. No major reports of any damage across the region. And uh, producer, just let me know when the new news show, uh, starts because I haven't gotten a cue since you told me to, uh, right now. OK, there you go. New news starts right now. We'll be right back with a quick update. John and Barbara here with Eyewitness News at noon.